to sleep it on. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh God. Bloody winter. It's so cold. Oh. <laughs> oh, hands are dry and skin's dry, but it's two minute Tuesday and we're going to be talking about iodine, not iodine, but iodine, the mineral for your thyroid. And oh my God, it's cold. I feel the cold so much. I've got a dry cracking skin and worst of all, I am constipated. So that's awful when you've got low thyroid function. These are the symptoms. The even the outside third of my eyebrow is thinning and I'm so lethargic and I'm putting on weight so much that I can't get it off. I look at a cake and put on weight. Well, what we're talking about is low iodine. Now, what has iodine got to do with your thyroid? Well, iodine is a essential mineral that makes up the thyroid hormone T3. Now, T3 stands for tyrosine and three iodines. And there's also T4, which has guess how many iodines attached to it? Four. There's also T2, and I don't even want to tell you how many iodines are in T2. So now you know. So that's what iodine is for. It's for making thyroid hormone. It's it's good for other things. It's good for um, like lumpy breasts. That's been shown in some research. So that's what iodine is for. And you need about 150 micrograms a day, not milligrams, micrograms. Now, what happens if you take too much iodine? Because you can take too much iodine. Um, yes, if you eat a lot, I mean a hell of a lot of kelp and those sorts of things, you can get loads of iodine. But the most common source of iodine toxicity is products that have 200 micrograms of iodine in this one and then 200 micrograms in this one, 200 micrograms in that one, and you take three of them and you end up with 600 micrograms. Still not toxic at that level, but it's edging that way. So be careful because that can lead to symptoms such as goiter, which is a large uh, thyroid. You can get stomach aches, fever, and bowel disorders. So keep an eye out for your iodine levels and make sure they're optimal. Thank you.